the mysterious house was spinning down as it came to land in a new and mysterious place. The Blues Brothers and the Green Sisters were so excited as they hopped out. Amazing, they said. It's a spaceport. This is incredible. Welcome, said the man in orange, whose name was Emmett. This is also my nephew, uh, Maverick. Over there, over there you can see the space police who are trying to bring some order into this spaceport. Now that the Space Olympics is over, everybody's landed at the same time. Look, and here comes the space shuttle coming into land as well. Oh, is there any room left in this crowded place? And then behind that, you can see an escape pod that somehow we picked up on the moon that's just rising behind it. And further on, we can see the robot that's fixing the X-Wing that's come in, but straight from the Olympics where it won a fantastic race. And we can see further around, well, there's all sorts of things happening. We have the this, this space bikes there as well uh, to help control traffic. And there's the, the space racer, the Sharknado, which you can see in the middle. And also the, that strange man, Luke, and his robot. They keep looking for Obi-Wan. We don't know any Obi-Wans. I know Obi-2 and Obi-3, but no Obi-Wans. Oh, the Blues Brothers and Green Sisters said, are these things difficult to fly? Well, no, said Emmett. In fact, they're quite easy to fly. But there is just one rule that's made for our safety. And that is, to fly one of these, you must have a space license, which proves that you've been trained by a proper pilot. Otherwise, you might make a terrible mistake. Oh, they were a bit sad to hear that, but they understood that the rules were there for their protection. Meanwhile, Emmett wanted to show them his spacecraft Welcome to my pride and joy. I saved for years to purchase this beauty. This is the Red Hot Chili Capsicum. It's a cargo ship and watch its beautiful crane. It picks up cargo and drops it in the back and I don't have to lift a thing. It's a miracle of modern science. I'm so proud of my ship. The spaceport was in chaos and the space police had to do a lot in order to get everyone straightened up and straightened out instead of being all over the place. And in the midst of all this chaos, the Blues Brothers and Green Sisters heard a sound. Psst! Psst! Where was it coming from? Suddenly, they realised it was behind the mysterious house. It was Maverick. Psst! Hey, you guys! You're my buddies, aren't you? Well, hi Maverick, good to see you. What are you doing behind the mysterious house? I've, I've always had a dream. I want to fly, but I don't have a license. But I, I'm going to fly anyway, because it's my dream. And I've heard that you should follow your dreams and do what you like and do what you want your way. So that's what I'm going to do. Well, that doesn't sound right, because you don't have a license. That'd be breaking the rules. It doesn't matter. I want to do it my way. I know how to fly. I'm smart enough. What do you want from us? I want you to go over and distract Emmett. And then I can hop in the spacecraft and fly up in the air and live my dream. Ah. Well, the Green Sisters and the Blues Brothers were very alarmed, so they did race over to Emmett but only to tell him what terrible plan Maverick had in mind. Quick, Emmett, quick! Maverick's going to fly without a license! But it was too late. He had hopped in to the nearest flying saucer and launched himself up. Up! Up! Up he went and around the place. He was flying and all of a sudden it was haphazard. He seemed to be a bit out of control, zooming this way and that. And suddenly he was cascading to the ground and kaboom. The spaceport was in upheaval. It seemed no one was hurt, but everything was knocked over and in disarray. And finally, 
when they'd come to their senses, they'd realise that the red hot chilli capsicum was no more. But that wasn't what Emmett was worried about. He quickly ran over to Maverick. Maverick, Maverick, are you okay? My dearest nephew, please speak to me. And Maverick slowly got up and looked at the red hot chilli capsicum. Oh no, your special ship. I've ruined it. My selfishness ruined it. I am so sorry, uncle. That's okay, said Emmett. It's Lego. It can be rebuilt and we will rebuild brick by brick. Oh, but I'm so sorry, uncle. We'll get there. I forgive you as long as you've learnt the lesson. I have, uncle. I have. And as the Green Sisters and the Blues Brothers wandered back to the house, they wondered what the lesson was to be learnt from this. I guess, said the Green Sisters, that maybe it was that selfishness can really hurt other people. I reckon that's true, said the Blues Brothers. But that also the rules are there to protect us. Hmm. Perhaps there's more we can learn from this story as they hopped into the mysterious house and pondered and wondered. And they knew in their heart of hearts that Emmett and Maverick would be okay as the mysterious house began to spin around. <laughs>